Hey everybody, it's Marco from Analog Sinks, and today we are at SuperSense, the, one of the analog places in Vienna and one of the rare places on the earth that has one of these, a 20 by 20 inch Polaroid camera. And today we're going to take a picture with that camera and I walk you through the process, what you do with that camera and what's the magic behind it. Okay, so what's what's the camera about and what's like on that camera? Like what are the pieces that we need for it? Well, the 20 by 24 is actually just a large format camera in a really huge factor. It's like 20 by 20 inch, that's massive. As you can see, that camera is bigger than me and I'm already pretty tall. It has a Fuji lens that covers that like ground glass and that's pretty huge. If you see somebody walking in the back, that's just a dog. The camera is actually a Wisner and yeah, you can just turn it around. It has like these nice little brackets and I was already in the desert with that camera and it's amazing. Well, let me just turn it around for you guys so you can see that reflecting thing here. That's actually the ground glass of the camera. And you see that is actually our image. So it's huge. Like the image outcome is just massive. A 20 by 24 is just a unique piece. And not that there is like a rare amount of cameras available on the earth. There's actually like a, just a little bit of chemistry and film left. And SuperSense still has a little bit of that chemistry and film. Today we're gonna to take one test image and then later we're gonna shoot uh, one of Doc's friends. We're not shooting him, we're taking a picture of him. When we take a picture, that ground glass comes off here, just like this. And then you can see the bellows inside that are already duct taped like hell. So this piece here, that's a processor. There's two different kinds of cameras. The original Polaroid built one that has the processor built into the back of the camera. It's not that versatile like the Wisner but the Wisner loses a lot more material than the original Polaroid one. So with this one, the processor is here and steel rollers, like every Polaroid camera, need to be clean and they are just massive. These rollers are heavy and they are like really sensitive to the dimensions. The distance between these rollers need to be measured like on the hundreds of a millimeter and we close and open these rollers and just to show you how that works, like we can just start them is the, the magic to the film, like that combines negative and positive. These are the pots for film. And you can see the pots came in like packs like these. If I pull them out softly. These are the chemistry pots, they are still liquid. And you combine two of these pots to have one image covered with chemistry. We need these later for the image. So this thing here, that is our negative folder actually. It's upside down at the moment. Down here is the negative. It's packed into that top part here. It's rolled over the top, it goes here. And here we have this leather pouch on top that actually covers the negative from being like getting some light on it because it's actually like not that light tight. The camera is made for a studio, so it's not perfect in, in all the ways. These are the pieces of the camera and the process is pretty easy. You take the camera, you frame your subject, you focus on your subject, you take the ground glass off the camera, you take the negative holder, put it on, come back from the camera, go to the processor, put it in and process the film and cut it off. And then you separate the image after two minutes and you're done. That's the basic of this, this camera. And we're gonna just head into taking one picture, give it a test shot and then see what we can do. And first we're gonna set up some lights so we can actually take the image cause open my picture here is F11. That's not really light sensitive, let's say it like this. The negative folder, which is still packed, will come on top here. And that's like one of the main phases, like where it can, errors can happen, cause like the film couldn't be pushed through the uh, right way. You forget to push that level on the side, which opens and closes the rollers. There's so many failures in that process. So, so we set the focus on the camera already. And now it's time to remove the ground glass. Watch out that you put it somewhere where it's safe and put on the negative holder. So that's our purpose now. Get that off. Gonna put that aside. Now it's time that we can finally remove this little ladder hatch here. Wait, take our negative holder, which is super heavy because there's a new film inside and lock it into place on the camera. So here we have our lens and it's still open because we had to focus. So can you can see that on the patcher opening and closing. And now we set our uh, measured values. We measured for the light F16. 
which we can set on the back here. And then we already charged the camera. We do a test shot once just to see if everything fires. Perfect, both flashes fired. Now we charge the lens again. You see that by the red thing coming up, everything is ready. I can now go to the back and put like open the dark slide. Ready? One, two, three. Um, so for every picture we need two pots and these pots come in these card boxes uh, like big pots and then you have the pots inside since they are already like old it could be that some of them look like this but that's actually not too bad and we can uh, use it um, since we just make a test shot now I'm looking for packs that don't look too good but let's take them so you got these pet pot pots here these pots are two by one this means we need two pots and you're gonna take a look. These are also aligned the right way. And then we need some tape. We just stick them together. So the chemistry can still come out on top, but the pots hold together. And that's really important. So we have a nicely covered image. The positive comes on rolls. And actually every 20 by 24 film comes in a pack with four rolls. Three of them are positive rolls since the paper is thicker and one of them is a negative roll. The negative roll is already in the negative holder and the positive here. This one that just goes between these two rollers, as you would imagine. So we just push that through here. And then later we put the negative on top here, that will come in here, and we push the negative down, and then we can process the whole image. Close the rollers, now they are closed. These define like the distance between the rollers. That works here. Okay. Let me just see, now we let it run a little bit. Chemistry two pots, they need to be between positive and negative. They go in here, give them a slight push so they are stuck in between. Great. So that's our image. Let's see if it works out. Okay, so that's actually 20 by 24 inch photography. It's not black like magic or anything, uh, but it's a few steps that you have to keep in mind and you have to watch out. And that camera is like flimsy. As I said, like I took that camera into the desert in Qatar and was shooting for Khalid Al Thani. And it was kind of cool to be there, but that camera is definitely not made to be out in the sand, in the sand dunes, in, in bright sunlight. It's made for a studio. And it was really hard to work there, but we did some amazing images. But now working in the studio again, like I haven't taken an image with the camera in like over a year, like or probably two years, but it's still pretty amazing to, to use the camera. Um, it's just a unique kind of photography. You take so much effort into taking one single image and that image is just massive. Uh, that camera usage is not for small people or like people that are not really good at lifting. You need a crew then. But it works if you kind of want to. And yeah, anyways, uh, if you like that, uh, if you are close to Austria and you kind of want to take uh, like or get an image taken of you on the 20 by 24 head over to SuperSense. Um, and try to get one of these images. Um, they're pretty cool. And maybe in the future I will work together with SuperSense a little bit more again and see what we can come up with. But I hope you liked that video and that little insight into that like huge camera, that one of a kind. Um, so that's the one in SuperSense. One is in Berlin with Oliver and the rest is in New York is one and then the rest is actually in storage. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you liked the video and hope to see you next time. Bye.